Happy Thanksgiving. Today is the day before Thanksgiving, so you will be watching this tomorrow on Thanksgiving. So if you're watching it in the morning, I hope you enjoy the day with your family. If you're watching this in the afternoon or the evening, I hope you had a good time with your family, friends, family, whoever you celebrated Thanksgiving with. If you are not watching this on Thanksgiving, you should have been, but if you are not watching this on Thanksgiving, I hope you had an enjoyable Thanksgiving. I really love Thanksgiving. It's uh, one of my favorite holidays. It's great to get together with the family, have a big meal, enjoy the day, and then the best part is the next day you have the day off. You get two days off. It's almost like every holiday should be on a Thursday and then that Friday should be off. I think that would be a good plan. But the reason I like having Friday off is it gives me a chance to kind of get the wood yard situated and organized. I use that term loosely. Um, just ready for the winter. And one of the things I have going on that I want to get done uh, on this long extended weekend is I want to get, I have a bunch of logs up in the front that were dropped off um, throughout the last month. And I also have in the front, um, some, there's four pine logs that I have been, I had up there at one point, I was gonna take them up to Rick's and I was gonna mill up some lumber and then I never got around to that. And now they're just kind of to the point where I know I'm not gonna be using them for lumber and I wanna put them to use um, and build a little bit of a, um, like kind of like a live deck for the Yapa 365. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to get those logs back here first. And then what I can start doing is organizing the logs I have both in the front and the logs I have in the back in the wood yard and kind of get them separated out to those that can go through the Yapa. I can put on this live deck and kind of get those organized. And then the other ones that are too big uh, for the Yapa, I can take into the carport and get those ready to be bucked up and eventually split this winter. Now, the one thing is with moving these logs back to the wood yard is they are a little long. They don't quite fit through the gate. So on the first gate, I have to lift them up and over. And then on the second gate, I can kind of sometimes, if they're not if they're not too long, I can get the one end around the one post and then kind of shimmy it in and kind of turn and drive turn the tractor so it goes around the post and then drive through. So I dropped three of the logs that I thought were the best options here 
And what I want to do is I want to pick out the two that are going to probably work the best. And I'm thinking it's going to be those two on the end. I think this one is a little too long and it's got some knots and nubs sticking up, which I could trim those off, but I'd rather have this one right here, which is nice and smooth. And this one is also nice and smooth. This one does have a little larger of a butt end on him. He's a little bit higher than the other one, but I think that is gonna work good because over here where I wanna put them, it's actually a little lower down there. So what I need to do is I need to put the butt end away from the log lift, like right down there. I kinda made a little trench right here for this first one. I wanna have the butt end down here, which should kind of level it out almost. And then we'll put the other one right up here. As soon as I get this first one in and see kind of how it sets, and then we'll get the other one in. All right, so I wanna get at this one first. And so I'm just gonna take this one and flip them up over and grab that one in the middle. No! Oh, perfect. That is actually looking pretty good. Just gotta straighten it out a little bit and I think it's actually looking fairly level. And now this next one I need to place on this end. I need to leave enough room to drive the tractor in between. Um, yeah, hang on. So before I start the celebration, let's just make sure that the log lift clears. Should be good. I'll probably only lower it down to about that point anyway. I don't want the log lift down all the way on the ground. It's below the top of this log and it clears going up on that side. Just fine. I think we're set. I think we're good. 
I think that is gonna work out great. I have enough room to drive in with the tractor if I need to, and I still have plenty of room uh, to get around the corner of the carport here. But this, I think, is gonna work out great. We'll find out, we'll test it out. I'm gonna load it up, hopefully this weekend. This is kind of nice that this has got kind of a little, almost like a little uh, stop so the logs won't roll back off it. And I believe it is fairly level with the other one. So it actually worked out pretty good to have that one with the thicker butt end kind of down in that little dip there. Uh, and then this one over here, they just kind of worked out almost perfect. They are pretty much level. <laughs> Maybe not quite, but that's all right. We're not too concerned about it. I think this is gonna work out well. We will find out uh, when I start loading some logs on it, hopefully this weekend. So again, I wanna wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed the day. Um, if you are watching this on Thanksgiving or if you're watching this the day after Thanksgiving, whenever you're watching this, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. If you are watching this on Thanksgiving, don't forget to tune in tomorrow night to the Back 40 Black Friday live stream. We are gonna be ripping those Back 40 Firewood Trading Pack cards open. Uh, we're gonna be having some couple giveaways. We're gonna be having all kinds of fun. If you haven't gotten your Back 40 Firewood Trading Cards, there's still time. Head on over to back40firewood.com, get your order in, or like I said, tune in tomorrow night because we will be giving away some packs of cards. We'll also be may maybe be giving away a complete entire set free to one lucky viewer on the live stream. But a few things have to happen in order for that to take place. So tune in to find out. And again, happy Thanksgiving.